Hello and welcome back to Inversion Addicts. Today we're going to be taking a look at the history and future of Infusion over at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So let's get into it. Infusion is a suspended looping coaster by the Dutch manufacturer Vacoma. It features a common layout featuring five inversions, a track length of around 2,260 feet, it stands at height of 109 feet and hits a top speed of 50 miles per hour. Now Infusion started life as the traumatizer over at Pleasureland Southport, which at the time was owned and operated by Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It opened there as the traumatizer in 1999 and stood thrilling guests until it was eventually relocated in 2006 to Blackpool Pleasure Beach where it stands today. Some notable changes as it moved over to the Pleasure Beach were its colour scheme, where the traumatizer had once been sponsored by the popular UK soft drink Tizer. Of course, the track and branded matched, sporting a bright red track with navy blue supports. It now stands with a vibrant blue paint job and it's suspended entirely over water. Fun fact, it's actually the only Vacoma SLC that is suspended entirely over water. The ride area is heavily themed towards water, including the track colour, the ride's location suspended entirely over water, and of course, water fountains and jets that create some cool near misses. Did I mention water? So as you can see, Infusions had a pretty uneventful history. After relocating to the Pleasure Beach, it stood there for over 15 years. Well, just doing its thing really. Although, I do see members of the general public flocking towards Infusion in the summer. I can't help but think what the future holds for this juicy plot of land right in the middle of the Pleasure Beach. As we all know, land is an absolute premium at this compact park. And so far, Blackpool Pleasure Beach have been really wise in the investments that they've put in recently. I'm sure you'll all agree that the interactions and near misses that's created on Icon via the big one, the Big Dipper and Steeplechase and the likes is a warm welcome to the ride. And I can't help but think that this space could be utilised for something similar. The main body of a ride in this huge area spanning off and interacting with the existing fantastic rides that Blackpool Pleasure Beach offers. So I guess it's no secret, in my humble opinion, Infusion's days are numbered and I feel like it's time for us to start speculating on what's next for this plot of land. Now for once, you won't hear me recommending an RMC for the Pleasure Beach. With the vast array of classic wooden coasters on offer at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, I can't help but think that there's a much more suitable donor for the Iron Horse treatment, saying absolutely no names. <clears throat> Grand National. So seeing as we're talking about replacing Blackpool Pleasure Beach's only suspended coaster, I feel like it'd only be right to introduce the first B&M coaster to the Pleasure Beach. Take a look at Nemesis, it's the same age as the big one and it still stands as one of my favourite rides at Alton Towers. I feel like a B&M at the Pleasure Beach is way overdue. I understand that B&M aren't one of the cheaper coasters on the market, but I feel it'd be well worth the investment. Another fantastic option for me would be one of the new suspended thrill coasters by Vacoma. It'd be nice to see a Vacoma swap with a new Vacoma, and I believe they're a fantastic coaster to ride. I'll go even further into that idea, maybe a Vacoma flying coaster like Fly over at Fantasia Land. Let's be honest, Infusion's well known for being one of the rougher coasters in the Pleasure Beach, even alongside 80 plus year old wooden coasters, and I'm sure you'll all agree that the old Vacoma SLC has seen better days. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on Infusion over at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Is it still one of your favourite coasters to ride? Are you in agreement with me? It's time for a change. Drop us a line in the comments and let us know your thoughts. So that's going to wrap up this video here on Inversion Addicts. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. It's so good to be back after the winter break and we can't wait to see you all back in the parks in 2021. Until next time, take care.